So you open up the stepper configuration wizard. Here I'm modifying an existing configuration, but you should probably start fresh with your own new one. Pause this anytime to see the step time, space, direction, hold. Um, you can see all the parameters that I've used here, um, including the para parallel port parameters for all the pins I uh, input and output. The parallel port address is always going to be 378, or hex 378. X-axis parameters are here for my NEMA 23 motor specs, and I'm running a quick test here. Uh, this is a plus or minus 2 inches. Um, then when you click run, you'll see the motor move plus or minus 2 inches, and I've confirmed that um, through using the ruler there. The motor is running at an adequate speed and acceleration. Click Run again. So diving into the X and Y axis parameters, which should be identical, you're looking at about 200 motor steps per revolution. The motor lead screw ratio is always going to be 1 to 1 because it's direct drive. Lead screw pitch here is 10 threads per inch, so 10 revs per inch. And the maximum velocity is 1 inch per second with a maximum acceleration of 30 inches per second squared. Um, zoom through the z-axis and then click uh, done here um, to save the configuration on the desktop so you can open it up later if you ever needed to modify it and you are basically ready to go and uh, calibrate your homes and enter the g-code So this is one big solid piece that will end up getting painted the same color. So I cleaned the threads because it was binding up during my initial testing, so now it's going to run nice and smooth. And easily you can just jog left and right. This is the x-axis, so it's going left and right. And the screen shows it as well. You can see how the homing device shows its actual position in real time. And the same thing on the y-axis going up and down. Okay, now what we could do is we can home the device. It'll identify its X, Y, and Z home, although we don't have a Z axis, so it'll just be X and Y. And then you can actually manually enter your G code to make it go wherever you want with the press of a button. And that is essentially what this is, is just the implementation of G code. A part on a 2D axis basically shows that the motor should be running at this speed for this distance until it needs to stop and then the other motor runs or they can both run concurrently if you want to do a curve or a diagonal. So that's all that G-Code is. And there's tons of different uh, codes for G-Code, not just turning on or turning off, but I think there's like 90 to 150 different codes or something like that. So um, I'm just going to turn and off, turn a certain axis on or off. So it's very, very simple. So. So now what we're going to do is we're going to home the axis, okay? I already homed it, so it's now going to be rehomed, which is okay. We'll clear all the extra lines that I made earlier. And then we can go to the MDI and put in our, our G code. Now, I already typed in a few of these here, but basically what this shows is G0 means go, not G-O, but G0 means to go, to move a motor. F90 means it's going to be, the, the, the velocity of that motor is going to be 90 inches per minute based on my uh, Acme rod 
uh, thread at 10 inches uh, per thread, 10 threads per inch, rather. And then I'm telling it to go in the X direction, one inch, and in the Y direction, go one inch. And when I click go, you're going to see both motors turning to get to that point that I had specified. And you can see that it moves one inch over and one inch up. So that concludes the 10 video series on how to build a CNC plasma cutter from scratch. I haven't cut a part yet, that'll be in the bonus material coming later on. But this is essentially what you'll get for 900 bucks, complete. Now you can make your own custom parts from scratch. So thanks a lot for, for coming on, thanks for, um, I really enjoyed uh, being able to explain how this works and, uh, and kind of offer some of my expertise. And, uh, and machining and fabricating skills. Guys, if you like the video, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, tag your friends. If you don't, then comment, tell me why, what would you like to see better? Uh, I'd love to, uh, to hear what you have to say. So thanks a lot for, for coming on. Stay, stay tuned for more projects that I got coming up this year. It's gonna be a really great year. Uh, a lot of uh, a couple of engine swaps, paint jobs uh, of the like, and I'll be using this thing a uh, ton in order to make a lot of custom parts for, uh, for my swaps. So thanks a lot guys, take it easy.